Hi, good morning. This is Arun Parameswaran, Managing Director for VMware India. VMware Cloud and AWS is an offering that we're going to be bringing to our customers in India, and the excitement around this offering has been building up over the last few months. So today I'm here to talk to you about the top 10 questions that you've asked us or you Googled, and I'm going to try and see if I can answer these questions. So here goes. Let's start with the first question. Simple. What is VMware Cloud and AWS? If you think about VMware Cloud and AWS, it essentially brings the best of public cloud and the private cloud to our customers globally. Uh, this service was launched about two years back, and in this month, we'll be bringing the service to India with the local uh, AWS data centers now being powered by the VMware Cloud and AWS. It is essentially a service that allows customers to run the VMware software-defined data center stack on the VMware public cloud. And in, in that essence, it allows you to maintain all of the capabilities that you've been building on premise, but allows you to extend that into the public cloud. And the beauty is, you could do all of this and then add on all of the value-added capabilities that AWS offers, things like database as a service, Lambda, advanced analytics, machine learning, on top of this stack, right? So it essentially brings the best of both worlds, the best, the best private cloud platform in the world and the world's leading public cloud platform. So for customers in India, this is a great offer. Okay, question number two. Oh, fairly simple. What is the difference between VMware and AWS? Most of you know VMware. This is the company that pioneered server, server virtualization about 20 years back. We're an enterprise software company uh, that has you know, pioneered this technology called server virtualization, uh, extended that into the, into the various components of the data center. We created this whole category called software-defined data center and then essentially you know, help customers build hybrid and now into the multi-cloud era. So that's VMware. Uh, AWS, I think all of you know this, it's the leading public cloud platform in the world, uh, has uh, a massive global footprint, tons of value-added services, and the, you know, the top customers in the world all pretty much run their public cloud on AWS. So for customers in India, this is a perfect marriage, the best of the, uh, of the public cloud world in AWS and the leader in the software-defined data center uh, on-premise coming together to, to offer a service to you. Okay, question number three, let's see. What VMware SDDC products do I need to have on-premise to run VMware Cloud on AWS? Quite simple. To start with, you don't need anything. You can simply run this off a web browser and you can have your applications running on VMware Cloud and AWS. But the more components of VMware SDDC stack that you have on-premise, uh, the more uh, benefits you're going to occur from this. If you think about it, the, the whole pre premise for this offering was customers basically said, I have application workloads that are running on premise. I want to have a footprint on the public cloud. How do I make this transition seamless? That's exactly what VMware Cloud and AWS offers. Because it's built on the same software-defined data center stack, it makes portability of applications so much simpler for you. So everything from vSphere, vSAN, NSX, it's the same components that you're running in your data center that we run on the VMware Cloud and AWS. So the more components that you have, the more benefits you accrue from the entire service. Okay, question number four. Let's see what we've got. How does VMware protect customer data when they're using VMware Cloud and AWS? Quite honestly, this, you know, the protection is in multiple layers. Let's begin with the VMware products by itself, right? Uh, in VMware, over the last, I would say, three to five years, we've had a principle of making sure that security is not an afterthought that we build security into our products. So everything from the from the beloved hypervisor that you use in vSphere, ESX, all the way to you know advanced products like vCloud Suite, NSX, vSAN, we have security embedded into our products, right? Now, but then let's start with the service. Obviously, we inherit all the underlying you know, the security that, you know, a public cloud service like AWS has been bringing to all of our customers around the world, right? It's best in class, it's world class, so that's where it starts. And then you, you layer on the added level of security that we bring in from our products where it's all completely built in, you know, things like micro-segmentation and the ability for you to make sure, you know, the surface area of any attack is, is relatively lower compared to when you don't implement something like micro-segmentation. So we build all of those capabilities. All data that is traveling between customers on-premise data centers and AWS is encrypted. Data at rest is encrypted. 
obviously AWS has massive you know monitoring capabilities to make sure that you know they are securing their perimeter they're securing their environment and a similar effort is on from a VMware perspective as well to make sure that we're delivering to the highest standards and levels of security that you would expect of a service like this so for all our customers rest assured this is delivering more security than you can imagine all the way from the perimeter and straight into the infrastructure that runs your applications. Let's go, question number five. Obviously the big one. What capabilities are part of the VMware Cloud on AWS? When you think about the service, right, the VMware Cloud on AWS, uh, it runs essentially a dedicated single tenant cloud infrastructure uh, with support for up to 16 host uh, vSphere clusters. Now this is delivered on next generation advanced bare metal AWS infrastructure, including uh, you know, very high performance and low latency NVMe based SSDs, right? Um, if you think about it, you essentially run the entire VMware software defined data center stack on top of this bare metal capability that AWS provides us. So some of the key features includes obviously the bare metal infrastructure, uh, or very, very flexible storage options in terms of what you would like to configure. Uh, dedicated high performance networking, uh, including features like Direct Connect for connecting between your on-premise data center and the service. Uh, security and compliance, and I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, and then of course, a whole host of third party integration. So, essentially, soup to nuts, it gives you everything that you need to run your data center on the cloud. Okay, question number six, let's go. Can workloads running in a VMware cloud on AWS integrate with AWS service? The answer is yes. The VMware cloud on AWS is directly connected to the customer's VPC using the Elastic Network Interface and therefore it has full access to the wide variety of AWS services that are available to the customer even on the native side. Okay, coming to the back end of the home stretch, let's see what question seven is. What compliance certifications has VMware Cloud on AWS achieved? VMware Cloud on AWS has been independently verified to comply with a whole host of certifications. Uh, obviously, there's no way I can remove all of this. So this one, I'm going to look at my cue card and I'm going to read this for you guys. It's ISO 27001, ISO 27017, ISO 27018, SOC1, SSA, AE18, ISAE3402, SOC2, SOC3, HIPAA compliance, and I'm sure there's more, you know, for every local market that we serve, we work on all the local regulatory compliances as well. Um, also, on top of this, VMware Cloud and AWS also complies with the GDPR regulations uh, that was introduced last year. So it is a comprehensive service that has all the regulations, all the compliance for all the regulations that typically most of our customers need in their respective local markets. Okay, question eight. Are there any courses or training available for learning skills on how to deploy and manage VMware Cloud on AWS infrastructure? We've been working on this, guys, uh, for a long time now. Uh, we offer a three-day course that uh, essentially helps uh, our customers to understand how to deploy and manage VMware Cloud at AWS. Uh, it's a mixture of uh, you know, classroom training and hands-on labs. Uh, so it's, it's a good mix that allows you to actually play around with the service and understand how to, how to deploy and manage. And we offer this pretty much around the, uh, around the world and we're offering this to our customers in India as well. And uh, you know, I would strongly suggest that if you're interested in this, please get in touch with your uh, VMware representative and they can help you connect you to the VMware education services team that can help enroll you into one of these classes. Okay, home stretch, last two questions. Let's start with question number nine. Ah, the big one. How is VMware Cloud on AWS priced? VMware Cloud on AWS is available like any public cloud service in, in three flavors. It's available on demand. So essentially you get charged for whatever you consume, but it's also available for customers who, who are willing to buy this on a subscription basis. And we offer a one year and a three year subscription. So like any other public cloud service, uh, like I said, we can do on consumption or if you're if you're looking at a subscription model, we offer a one year and a three year subscription and you know, a lot of details are available. Get in touch with your VMware uh, representative and he'll be able to help you with this. Okay, folks, last question. Question number 10. 
When is VMware Cloud on AWS coming to India? We've been waiting for this for a long time now, and I'm happy to uh, let all of you know that uh, we will be launching this service later this month in India, and uh, we'll be in touch with all of you and uh, excited to bring the service to all of our customers in India, all of our partners. So uh, you should be hearing from us very shortly. This will be launched in the month of May 2019.